Hello. Nice to see you again. Not that I really can see you through a silly monocle like this. Of course, this monocle is really a magnifying glass. And as you probably know, that's a piece of round glass bulged on one side or the other. They have very handy things to carry with you, but sometimes you haven't got one and you want to look at something and magnify it. So here's how you make an emergency magnifying glass. It doesn't take much, just a bit of wire, very flexible wire, something like a nail that's hard and round, and I suppose a pair of pliers would help, and water. And that's all you need. It's a bit crude, but it does work. This is what we do. We take the wire and snip off, I suppose, about uh, something about the length of your hand would do it. Then you take your round nail or screwdriver or whatever it is, and this is why the wire has to be bendy. You have to put it around there, make sure there's no kink just about there, and twist it up as much as you can in your fingers. And if it's tough wire, that's going to be hard to do. Let me just work with it down there. And you do that to make a good, long, twisted handle. That should do the job, I think. But you notice that because I'm doing it in my fingers, I can't get it very tight, and if I take it off the nail, the end of it isn't truly round. And it has to be to make a good lens. So we put it back at that stage. This is where the pliers come in. Grab that and just crimp it up with a couple of extra twists so that when it comes off the nail, it's as round as can be. There we are. A nice round circle there, and that's the basis of our little hand lens. Well, we don't use glass in it, we use water. Clean water, dunk it in, which makes a film across it. They won't magnify anything. And then by using the nail head, carry drops of water to it and plonk them on. There we are. That's a rounded bead of water. You can probably just see it sitting there in the loop. OK, what does it do? I'll look at the back of my hand and see what I can pick up of the skin. Well, I can pick up a bit, but the circle is so small and the lens is so bulgy that it's terribly powerful. I can't see much of that skin, although what I can see is magnified. I really need a bigger circle. And for that, it's best to use something like a screwdriver. You can see that gives you quite a decent sized circle there. I suppose it's, if I can get it off without distorting it, about half the size of my little fingernail. In the same process, I plonk it in the water. I get a nail to bring extra drips over to it. It doesn't have to be a nail, anything that carries drips. Put them in there. The more you put on, the more it bulges, the stronger it'll be. I'll try two drips. And I'm going to look at a 10 cent coin. That's a little bit strong, I think. I'll just take a little bit off my finger. And that takes it back a bit. Ah, that's perfect. It trembles a little, but it really does work as a magnifying glass. <laughs> Curiosity